Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Algorithm Pod. My name is Jitesh. So today I'm here with a new video of cryptography and network security. So let's jump right into it. So in this video, we are going to discuss RC5 algorithm. RC5 stands for Rivest Cipher 5 algorithm. Now in RC5 algorithm, RC stands for Rivest Cipher. So it is also a block cipher symmetric key encryption based algorithm. So in this algorithm, it addresses two blocks at a time. The plain text is divided into two blocks each, two word blocks each. Now in this algorithm, we have three basic parameters, W, R and B. W meaning the word size, which means the size of the plain text, which we want to perform an encryption on that. So it can be a 16, 32 or 64 bits on that this is word size and r is number of rounds it can be as low as 0 to 255 b represents the key size in bits now this all three parameters are decided on the basis of the plain text now in this algorithm we have three components the key expansion encryption and decryption now as we all know symmetric key encryption uses a single key for encryption as well as decryption process now this secret key will be one so what we are trying secret key is given to the key expansion algorithm what this algorithm will do is it will generate many many sub keys based on the secret key the secret key will be typically of 128 bits now using this 128 bits of secret key this algorithm is responsible for generating many sub keys sub keys of with various different blocks now after after generating this sub keys now as i said earlier the symmetric key encryption happens in a series of rounds so in each round these sub keys will be used this will be used in round one round two and so on up to the end ending of the round in each round encryption and decryption process is happening in the symmetric key encryption now after this key expansion algorithm this uh, this will generate many many sub keys and these sub keys will be used for encryption of the plain text and decryption of the separate text so this is the block diagram regarding the rc5 algorithm now what happens in each stage let's try to understand that now in the key expansion stage, as I explained earlier, it performs a complex set of operations to generate k number of sub keys. Now let's try to understand what happens in each step in this algorithm. At first, the plain text is divided into two blocks. Plain text would be typically of let's say 64 bits. It will be divided into two blocks of 32 and 32 each. Now, based on this, Based on this key expansion algorithms, the generated sub keys are used and these sub keys will be combined, basically added to form a new blocks, a blocks with new value, sorry, which we can label it as C and D. Now then after that, they will undergo rounds. Now let's try to understand what happens in each round. There are three operations which are performed in each round which is bitwise XOR operation left circular shift and the addition to the next sub key for both C and D we need at the end we need the new values for C and D after each round and these the new values of C and D will be passed on to the next round and this process will repeat until we obtain our desired cipher text now let's try to understand how the encryption happens in each round. Now we have one time initializations for C and D. We have one time initialization which will be equal to this. S of 0 and S of 1 are the respective keys for this particular round. A and these two are combined to obtain the values of C and D. And then 
we need to perform the XOR operation of A and B. Now, we have, we have, as we recall, I have said there are three steps, XOR operation, circular left shift or cyclic left lift and the addition to obtain the pre new values uh, of blocks, new value for the blocks. Now, after we need to perform cyclic shift of A by B number of bits. And now we need to add S of 2 into I. This will be the I mean here, I means number of rounds. The, which means we are trying to add key corresponding to this particular round the particular rounds let's say if the round is i s of 2 will be added for this for, for the output of this one s of 2 means for the first round i equal to 1 represents the first round and this when we do this s of 2 will be added to this other output after performing the cyclic left operation now after that when we add this sub key, we will get our new value of A. Now, we need to perform an XOR operation of B with this obtained new value of A. Then we will get a new value. After performing that, we have to obtain, we have obtained a new value of B. Now, we need to perform on this new value of B cyclic left shift operation by how many bits by a bits now we need to add s of 2 into i plus 1 corresponding key i plus 1 means s of 4 we need to add sub key of 4 for i equal to 1 right this is i represents the current round basically now this will give again new value of b now these a and b values will be passed to the next round and this entire process is repeated until total number of rounds until the end of the rounds so don't be confused there are only three steps three operations which are performed in this rc5 algorithm one is xor operation cyclic left shift and addition of sub keys to a and b at the end to pass these new value uh, new value or uh, new value to the next rounds these are the only three operations which are performed in each round so that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching this video make sure to hit the like subscribe and also hit the bell icon for future notification that's it guys for this video see you in the next time <laughs>